Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm sure you came back here because I told you I was gonna um, make another video today from my journaling, my part two journaling video and I have my water here just in case I run out of breath when I talk <laughs> and just in case I get thirsty and my mouth is dry but um, I'm going to be talking about my testimony today when I was seven years old, I lived in an apartment with my mom and dad. I have never felt so much connection from God than I did that day. When I was seven, it was probably around like 9 or 10 p.m. at night, and at 10 p.m., I think it was on a school night and I was seven years old. I was in the kitchen and my mom gave me ice cream and I took two bites of my ice cream and that's when my mom heard something outside the apartment and she went to go get, she went outside and maybe three to five minutes later she came back with my dad. And before I get to that point, I will tell you what I saw before, before the incident. I was in my room playing with toys and doing normal girl things like playing with Barbies and playing with my dolls and stuff like that. But I, my dad has, been out in the parking lot for a while with his friends he, he used to be in this like car club thing with his friends and he was out there talking to one of his buddies and I looked out the window and I saw them talking making sure that everything's okay because it's been a few hours or a couple couple to few hours since they were out since they've been out there and right before my mom called me to come eat my ice cream, I was still looking out the window and my father was going to his car, like started walking to his car. And then right, that's all I saw after that. And so I went to the kitchen, ate a couple bites of my ice cream, and that's when my mom heard something. So I think my mom heard something. I don't know, but she went outside and she brought my father back in and all I saw was that his arm was over my mom's neck and he was being carried inside and I immediately got up from my chair and ran over to where I could see my father and all I saw was like this huge, huge drop of blood. like go on the ground and onto the kitchen floor and I froze like I couldn't do anything I couldn't speak I couldn't say anything all I could do was have like tears in my eyes just like dwell up and I I could hear my father and I could see him and he, he I could tell he was being so strong and that he I could tell that he was being strong for me and the last thing I remember him saying to me as I was froze there was like he started cussing at me and tell me telling me to get in my room and get in my room really fast before I see anything else and I ran in my room and I started I ran in my room and started um, crying and I started hitting the floor and I started like screaming and yelling and I was questioning God. I questioned God, why were you doing this? Why are you doing this to my family? Why are you doing this to my life? Why are you asking all of these questions? 
that aren't even related to him. At that time, we weren't really going to church and we stopped going to church after a while. It was more like in my room as I was screaming and yelling at God and for something that he didn't do. There was a moment after I screamed and yelled, I heard his voice very loudly, very clear and straight at me. As I was screaming and yelling in my room, I was on my knees and like on on my all fours and I was like begging God, like I was begging him to save my father. I was telling him that I will do anything in my life than to see my father die like this. And at that moment, I, I heard his voice. I heard his voice and I knew his voice. Like, his voice was something I have never heard before. And being that close to God makes you feel stunned. and makes you feel like time just froze. And to me, it felt like time did freeze because I didn't hear anything. I didn't feel anything. I felt like I wasn't even breathing. And when I heard his voice, all he said was stop crying. And I did, immediately. I stopped crying. I stopped crying and I sat there in silence. I sat there in silence and I didn't make a sound, didn't make a movement. I just let him do what he needed to do. And what he did, as I closed my eyes and let the tears fall from my cheeks, I could just feel his presence. My whole body like, trembled and my whole body was warm. And I had like these goosebumps on my arms and my whole body, my leg, my legs, and it I have never felt something so powerful in my life. And after that moment, I didn't think it would get any more powerful. His hand touched my shoulder and I felt at peace, like I've never felt peace before. At that moment, after a few minutes of silence, he told me, your father will be okay. He's not going to die. He's going to stay on this earth as long as I tell him to. I still remember that till this day. And I've never felt so blessed and so at peace in my life than I did. At seven years old, that's really hard to take in, but as I am as I'm older and it made more sense and I have really come close to God and I feel as my hands are shaking now, but like I feel his presence even today and I know I have a strong relationship with God and he loves me more than anything and anyone on this planet, on this earth, in this galaxy. He loves everyone as his children. And I could have never, I could never have been as blessed as I did that day. The more I think about it, the more I am so grateful to him. And I just feel so at peace and my heart is warmed and my mind is fresh and I feel like I've been made new every time I tell my testimony to someone. And to finish the testimony, 
A few minutes later, after his hand was on me and after the silence and as he was talking to me, my mom came in my, my room and told me to put some pants on and some socks and shoes because we're going to go to the hospital. And I didn't cry after that. I stayed strong for my mom, I stayed strong for my father, and she got me out of my room after I did that, and she carried me to, she carried me out into the balcony of the apartments because the whole kitchen was covered in, in towels because of the blood was all over, and it was even on the carpet in the living room. I just remember once we got into the car, my mom was talking to the police, she was talking to the paramedics, and for about 10 to 20 minutes, and, and I was in the car, and I was just waiting, and I just prayed that my father was going to be okay, which I know he was going to be. and. After she got into the car, we rushed to the hospital. To we we got there and we waited for about a good two and a half to three hours for my dad to get out of the ER. And by that time, it was already probably about 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. And I saw my father come out as they're pushing him to go get stitches and go to the recovery room. I ran over to my father and just cried again, thanking God that he was alive and he was telling me that I'm gonna, that he's gonna be okay and that we're all gonna be okay. As I'm thinking about it as I'm sitting here, I have come to realize how blessed I am to have a family that still has a connection with each other. Even though my mom just recently got remarried and my father is remarried as well, they still have a friendship together. And I know most parents don't have that. And like they don't stay friends, they don't have any connection or they don't wanna do with anything with each other. I am very, very blessed to have that and I get to see my father from time to time and stay with my mom and she... After I saw my father come back from the ER and for him to be moved to go get his stitching and to recover, um, my grandparents came after that and I stayed over at my grandparents' house for a while, like maybe two or three days, so that my mom could clean up the apartment and have it ready for when I come back. And seeing my father being, like seeing my father have blood on the outside of his body is kind of really scary. and. It is, it is tragic, but I am just so blessed that he's still alive, and I'm so grateful to God, and I thank him every single day. I say that things are, are impossible in life, but nothing is impossible with God. Like, after seeing this testimony, and after seeing so many people get saved, I am a full believer that God is alive and He creates miracles for each and every one of you. And for my family to go through all of that, I am so blessed to have to say that God is by my side. Every single moment of my, of my life. And this is why When I do walk away from him, I remember my testimony, and I remember what am I doing? I say to myself, what am I doing right now? 
why am I being like this? And what can I do to make my relationship with God better? Jesus died on the cross for us. He saved us from sin. If that's not good enough, what is? Even to this day, I think about what God said to me. And I think about how much God really, truly does love me. He's blessed my family, he's blessed everyone around me, he's blessed my friends. There's nothing more I can say than just, I feel blessed. I feel happy. I feel at peace. I feel overwhelmed with joy. When I'm sad, I read my Bible so I can be in the presence of God. And then I question myself, why am I sad? Why do I have these emotions of negativity? Why do I have these thoughts? Why is my mindset like this? And when I read the Bible, I question, why does God love me so much? Like, what did I do to deserve his love? And my father is alive till this day, and he is doing well. Okay, I think this video has gone on long enough. Um, I'm happy to share my testimony with you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry for being a little emotional but it was bound to happen and I'm going to get a drink of water. Excuse me. Anyways, I will have more videos planned for you guys. Leave a comment down below if now leave a comment down below what type of videos you would like to see next, whether it be a journaling video, a makeup video, a Christian lifestyle video, a topic about God. Comment down below what you guys think I should do, and give this video a like if you liked my testimony, and also share this video with friends, family, and maybe a stranger. I don't know if you're, you're that kind of person, excuse me. I don't know if you're that kind of person to talk to strangers, but share this video with a stranger. Um, maybe it'll help them know Jesus a little more. And I hope that, I pray, I am praying that one day this world will see how God has changed us. How can how he can change people and save people and create miracles. And it's just a great and absolutely tremendous feeling of happiness and I feel so blessed and I could never feel as blessed as I do today and I, I have a roof over my head and I'm grateful for that as well. And without further ado, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, I almost forgot, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you're new, if you have come back to my channel, hello again. If you guys can support me, also my PayPal will be in the link below, so if you want to support me, um, my link is down there, and also my Instagram will be below, and if you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below and I will be glad to answer them. So, to end this video, I will say goodbye and hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.